just so heavy for the police officers out there today. And I know there's some people that may agree or disagree with what I'm about to say, but you know what? I'm realizing that it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what people think. It matters what the word of God says. And if my viewpoint is different and, and people agree or disagree, hate me, I, I don't care anymore because I am here to have a biblical worldview. I'm here to follow what the word of God says because one day I wanna look and see God and see, he says, well done my good and faithful servant. So the Bible clearly says, and this is a command, to love your neighbor as you love yourself. And what I'm seeing in this world is hate. I'm seeing the riots and you know the protests and the, the things that are occurring towards police officers specifically is horrible. We are defining all police officers based off this one man or based off of other specific police officers that have done wrong. And that is not okay. We are here trying to fight for rights, but yet we're tearing down somebody else's right. These police officers have families. These police officers have dreams and desires, but we want to destroy everything that they worked hard for. There are some of them that are a year away from pension, four years away, and, that, and they have this desire to continue to serve their country, but yet we look at them and we say, oh, you're out to kill me. Oh, you're out to do something. And we don't even... Take the time to look at their heart. Take the time to understand their character because they are individuals. They are people just like us. So how dare we destroy and proclaim that we want rights, but yet we can't even honor the rights of another individual. And the Bible says to love our neighbors as we love ourselves. Are we loving other people? And I'm not talking to, I'm not, don't look to the left or the right. Don't look to other people and say, well, they ain't doing it. They're not doing that. What are you doing? Are you loving your neighbor? Are you choosing Jesus? Because if you do not choose Jesus, there's not going to be equality because Jesus is the great equalizer. He brings forth equality. He brings forth peace. And our, if our foundation is not love, if our foundation is not on the word of God, how can we build a great nation? How can we come together as one? What are we fighting for? Because for me, I have to fight and defend the word of God. And that's all I'm going to do on this earth is to continue to defend his name. What name are you defending? Are you defending your skin color? Are you defending what Jesus created you to be, is it, which is in his image? Are you hating and tearing down and spitting and throwing bricks at police officers? Are you giving them pizza with glass on it? What are you doing? Don't look at other people. Look at yourself. Look at your own heart. I know you may be hurting. I know you may be angry. But that doesn't give us the right to allow our emotions to be the drive. Our emotions are passengers. They should not be the drivers. Jesus should be the driver of our lives. And is he your driver? I cannot be silent. It's time to speak up. It's time to love like never before. Love isn't just positivity. Love is created by God. God created love. God is love. And if we understand what love truly is, it's not easy. It's very sacrificial. We have to stop being so selfish and choose to love unconditionally. And when we do that, we will build a great nation. We have to stop tearing down our leaders and try to pray and build them up. As, my, as believers, Look at what the Bible says. The Bible doesn't say to curse and tear down. The Bible doesn't say to hate. The Bible doesn't say to spread this, this toxicity in this world. The Bible says to declare and to make Jesus' name known because he is the one that can save lives. He's the one that can save our nation. So I ask you today, as an individual, looking at your own heart, looking at your own character, are you choosing to love your neighbor as you love yourself? Are you choosing to be kind, to be gentle? Are you choosing to honor and respect the way that you want to be respected, the way that you want to be loved and honored? Are you doing that for the other person next to you? Even if they hate you, are you doing it? Because if you, if you want to follow Christ, it's not easy, it's not an easy road, and Jesus says it in the Bible, it's not easy. But it's the truth and it's the only way to bring restoration, to bring justice, because God values it all. Do you want to one day look at God and say, 
and have him say, well done, my good and faithful servant? Or do you want him to say, depart from me? I do not even know you. Because one day we will face him as individuals, not as one coming together, but as individuals, we will face him. And I know I want him to say, well done. So I'm asking you, what's going on with your heart? What's going on with your character? What's going on with your thought process? Is it abiding by the word of God? Or is it by your own standards? Or it's by your own experiences, your past, your hurt, your pain? Is it by what the world says? Choose Jesus, because Jesus is the great equalizer. There's two sides in this world, either Jesus or Satan. And I choose Jesus. So I ask you, are you loving your neighbor as you love yourself? And behalf, and I just want to say to the police officers out there, I am so sorry. And I am truly praying for you. And I am so grateful for those that are good cops, those that are that are good military police officers. Thank you for your service. Because I know it's not easy. And I just want to thank you and I want to honor you right now. And I will be praying for you. I'm choosing to love my neighbor even if they hate me. And I hope that you choose to love your neighbor as well.